beloved people of God, we thank God for the grace to see the last Sunday in the year 2020. And our hymn focus for today is to God be the glory with the tune to God be the glory. This hymn is another popular hymn by the author of Blessed Assurance, Mrs. Frances Jane Van Alstine. 1820-1915 Also more popularly known as Family Crosby, she was born at Southeast Patnam County, New York on 24th March 1829 and died at Bridgeport, Connecticut on 12th February 1915. She was America's most prolific hymn writer, hymnist in history. She authored more than 8,000 hymns blessing millions worldwide with her inspirational writings. Embarrassed by the volume of credits to her name, she uses over 200 different pseudonyms in her writings. Though blinded by an incompetent doctor at six weeks of age, she wrote all her hymns in a dark room. Fanny Crosby writings about her disability stated, it seemed intended by the blessed providence of God that I should be blind all my life. And I thank him for the dispensation. If perfect earthly sight were offered me tomorrow, I will not accept it. I might not have sung hymns to the praise of God. If I had been distracted by the beautiful and interesting things around me. Her father died when she was a year old, and her mother had to hire herself as a house help to a rich family to fend for them. When her grandmother heard that she was incurably blind, she vowed to be a heist. Her grandmother took her out and vividly described to her every aspect of nature. Fanny learned the sweet communion prayer together with her grandmother as she knelt by her side. She also patiently taught her the Bible, and Fanny, with her phenomenal memory, memorized the first four books of the Old Testament and the four Gospels to mention a few. Ira D. Sanki, the greatest evangelist and composer, was instrumental in helping to set many of her 8,000 hymns and sacred songs to music. Fanny Crosby left us one of the most and greatest legacies of our faith, hymns that have endured and blessed Christians for centuries and still inspire and nurture our experience in Christ. Our ministry in verses is one of the greatest testimonies that indeed God gives songs in the night. To God Be the Glory was featured in the 1945 Bill Graham's Crusade in London. Soon, Londoners were singing it in, on their way home, in the streets, while waiting for the bus, and on the underground trains. Dr. Graham took it back to the US and used it next in Tennessee and saw it take its place among favorite aims of his worldwide crusades. Fanny Crosby wrote this rousing gospel hymn in the early 1870s. Much of the hymn's popularity can be attributed to the inspiring tune composed by W. A. Dunn, 1832. To 1916. It is refreshing to note that whatever our circumstances in life, no matter how ugly or uncompromising or demoralizing it appears to be at first, it can, with care, patience, and a spirit of hope, be transformed. If we stop and take stock of our lives, we will be amazed at how much the Almighty has done for each of us. In that same vein, we should be thankful. So my dear people of God, in spite of the challenges we have faced in the year 2020, 
due to coronavirus. And SARS, an hardship in our country and so on. We need to give God all the glory for seeing us through to the last Sunday in the year 2020. I pray for you that all that you have lost will be restored back to you in multiple folds in the year 2021. And the new year will bring forth greater blessings our way. Let us cheer up to the beats of this wonderful hymn. Enjoy and a happy new year in advance.